Hi, in this video you will learn how to create a shiny ball effect in PowerPoint 2013. I am Ram Gopal from PrezzoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers, consultants and business presenters. The beautiful shiny ball effect you will learn to create today looks like this. Beautiful, isn't it? I created a very similar tutorial some 4 years back in PPT 2007 version on how to create glossy ball in PowerPoint. If you go to YouTube, you would find the tutorial here. It's a fairly popular tutorial. And since I had created this tutorial and many people have been asking me how to create this tutorial in the modern version of PowerPoint, I decided to update this tutorial. Instead of in 2007 version, I am going to do it in 2013 or 2016 version. Now this one that I have is 2016 version. But there is hardly any difference between 2013 or 2016 when it comes to the way that I am going to use the various tools. So let us see how to create this beautiful effect from scratch, now this time in the modern PowerPoint version. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I am going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. I am going to pick up this simple oval tool under basic shapes. I am going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle. Now this is going to be our shiny ball. I am going to go to shape outline and say no outline. And I am going to right click, go to format shape and I am going to apply a gradient fill. So let us go to the fill option here and choose gradient fill. Now the fill that I am going to use is not a linear one, I am going to use a radial fill and the direction of the radial fill is such that the direction faces from top left corner. Now I am going to move these gradient stops. Now let us work with the fourth stop. Instead of having it at 100%, I am going to move it slightly inside so that it is somewhere close to 88%. Now I am going to apply dark red color here. So I am going to say dark red. And I want this color to be a little more intense because this is the farthest point away from the light. So let us go here and go to more colors option. And here you see the slider. You bring the slider down so you can intensify the color. I can see here it has a much darker hue to it. I'm going to say OK. And now this is a much darker hue of the same dark red color. Then let us go to the position before that which is the third stop and I'm going to choose the dark red color, the color that you normally see and I'm going to move this slightly to uh, a place closer to the fourth step. Then I'm going to apply a different color to the second step. So I'm going to uh, click on the second stop here and then let us go to the same dark red color but this time I'm going to lighten the color. So let us go to more colors option like the way that we did earlier. We are going to move the slider slightly up so it is uh, fairly light as you can see here that is the color. Now since we are using these kind of colors manually we are able to control the texture of this uh, shiny ball. So let us move this slightly towards the third stop. You can see here the effect is far more gradual. Now the first one as you can see is colored in white and I'm going to move this slightly inside as you can see here as I increase the distance from the 0% you can see that the effect is far more pronounced. Now because it is pure white you can see that it is almost cutting into the colors of the circle. So I'm going to choose a much lighter color instead of pure uh, white. So I'm going to go to the same dark red option, go to more colors and I'm going to this time move it very close to the white here. So you can see it's, it's very light and it is still very visible. So that is a very important thing and I'm going to say OK. And now you can see that the effect is far more natural. Now that we have the ball ready which looks really beautiful, it is time to add the sheen on top of the ball. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the same basic oval tool and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle which is large enough to be around say two third of the size of the earlier ball. Let me go to shape outline and say no outline and let us go to the gradient fill option here and let us uh, start with a simple radial maybe something like uh, this one and now let us play with the different options. As you can see the direction of the sheen has to be from top left corner. So I'm going to choose that one. 
and I am going to change the last stop, the third stop to be the same color as one of the lighter colors that we had chosen earlier. This one and I am going to increase the transparency all the way to 100% so that it beautifully merges with it and I am going to choose the second stop. And I'm going to increase the transparency a little more, maybe somewhere around say 21% is pretty good. And I'm going to move the first one slightly to the right so that the effect is a little more intense towards the left hand side here. I'm going to add another step here somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to apply a transparency of 100%. And now you can see that there is a clear uh, transference of the color from white into the color of the background. So this comes with practice. You just play around with the various colors till you're happy with the way the sheen blends into the color of the sphere. Now with this done, the last step is to draw uh, a white circle in the middle and place the number 8 here. Once again, it's very simple. Go to the basic oval tool and then draw a circle. We're not going to keep it smack in the middle because this needs to be a little more organic. So I have moved it slightly to the right. And then I'm going to use white color and uh, I'm going to remove the outline. Now you can write the number 8 here. So you can always click here and say 8 and uh, change the font color to black and choose a much thicker font, maybe something like um, Arial Black and maybe you can really make it big so that the effect looks really dramatic. So now we have got a very beautiful eight ball effect. Now, if you want to add a shadow here, it's very simple. Let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the oval tool and draw an elliptical shape here. Let us right click and send it to back. Now let us apply a gradient fill to this one. So I have selected this and let us go to gradient fill. And the gradient fill type that I'm going to use is not linear, but path. And then I'm going to remove one of the stops. We just need three stops here. I'm going to move the first stop somewhere closer to uh, around 19% and I'm going to choose a dark gray color, maybe something like uh, this color. And then I go to the next stop and I move it somewhere closer to this position. And I'm going to choose a lighter gray color, maybe something like this one. And I'm going to increase the transparency somewhere close to around 57 to say around 70% is good enough. And the last one is going to be in white color and it is going to be in 100% transparency. Now this is the effect that you would create. Let us go to shape outline and say no outline and let's move it up. You can see that the shadow is very natural. And now we have completed our beautiful shiny ball effect in PowerPoint 2013 or 2016. I hope you really liked this beautiful effect. Having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom. You automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing. You know what? You don't need to be a PowerPoint ninja to create great looking slides like this. You just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides. In Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative PowerPoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method. Once you know the techniques, you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this. So please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever. And to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides, I invite you to join our free mini training called 16 Snackable PowerPoint Techniques course. It is an easy course with 16 super short emails. Each email teaches you a simple 30 second PowerPoint technique you can implement right away to impress your bosses, colleagues and audiences. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please do click here and I'll see you inside the mini training.